hi welcome now I am going to show you how to create uh, class intervals and uh, their frequency distribution uh, using pivot tables uh, method ok the data what I have here is the students data and I have about uh, 100 students 1 to 100 uh, and uh, their respective marks ok so I have about 100 students and um, uh, their respective marks in a subject so my objective is to get uh, class intervals something like this 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 class intervals of marks uh, okay so how many students uh, uh, made uh, 1 to 10 marks and how many of them taken uh, 11 to 20 marks 21 to 30 and so on their respective frequency is number of students okay this is my objective to get uh, this uh, result um, how how can we do this using pivot tables okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a pivot table now how to do that just uh, I'm going to introduce a pivot table of student and marks go to insert you can see here pivot table insert pivot table okay it will say okay this selected uh, uh, thing is uh, the range is the table or range of data which is selected okay we selected already the range so that range is here or if you don't uh, select already you can make uh, select the range now then what you can do is you want to uh, place the uh, pivot table in a new sheet or uh, in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet for uh, clarity purpose I place paste it on the existing worksheet the location which location you want to paste it okay I am going to paste it here in G okay so press ok you see it inserts uh, pivot tables fields and uh, choose the fields to add the report okay you need to choose the fields and uh, select the filters and so on so you have what all the two things you uh, you got it from the data is that one is the marks and the other is the student okay so for the rows has to be the marks because what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use the marks as the class interval okay and uh, the the summation of values the next column is the uh, the stati statistics is going to be the count of students okay so this this the one you need to make it when you do the pivot tables so you you already got uh, uh, students as well as count of students and uh, the marks okay so I just uh, these two okay after that uh, what you need to do is uh, uh, you see here what is happened here is that uh, it has given for each mark what is the number of students how many students has taken for each mark it is still not on the class class intervals uh, style but it is given for each value of marks what is the count what is the frequency of students okay so you have uh, one three two something like that so nine marks is taken by one student 24 marks is taken by three students and so on so now how we are going to make uh, this this pivot table into the one which what we wanted uh, the class intervals for that what you need to do is you select this one and go here the this column the row row table column right you you select the row table column okay the pivot table this row labels row labels is nothing but your marks this is nothing but your marks okay 
so uh, what you are going to do is you are going to select the whole column and uh, right click you will have a group in this group what you need to do is click the group it will say grouping in the group it will starting with the minimum number to ending with the maximum number for uh, our purpose it is 1 to 10 so you start with uh, number 1 and ending with 100 okay which is the last number automatically you want to group by tens okay and click ok what happens here you can see less than one or blank is uh, can okay you you can see here is that one to ten is the uh, one student and uh, 21 to 38 student 31 to 40 and 41 to 50 up to 91 to 100 okay this is our desired uh, uh, table the class interval table which wa we wanted to work on okay you can from this you can start building on your own tables okay so uh, this is very simple make a pivot table first okay whichever frequency you wanted it you make that frequency and count the students okay here we want the marks and the names you count it okay after that you go for grouping and make the grouping and that grouping will give you the one two thing okay now you want to close this guy so you go here the filter just the blank one less than you just close it okay so now you have the the frequency uh, count of student is nothing but the frequency of this marks okay so you got the class interval this is what you wanted it okay this is the objective and we achieve the objective hope this video is helpful to you and i'll see you on next video Thank you and God bless you.